using styles and in particular some EPS designs. Now, first thing, I'm going to actually just quickly create a background and just going to be a very basic orange background. And then I'm just going to import an EPS file. Now, you can find these EPS files on the Graphic Extras website. There are tree foil sets. And now, go to Place Embedded. And I'm just going to select the PNG file, EPS file. No, nope, EPS file because they're vectors. Much easier to use. So, vector files. There's a whole range of those PDF, EPS, PNG, and also AI files. Now, just going to go with... There's a whole range of different designs. I'm going to select that one, place. So once we've actually got the design there, what you can then do, just quickly go to select and load selection. And you'll see there you've got an option for transparency. So click OK. OK. Now what you can do, just quickly go down to the background. And I'm going to invert it first. So inverse. And I'm going to copy that selection now. I'm selected there. I've got the selection there. So Control C, copy, just go to edit and copy, and then paste. So now what you can see, you've got the design there. So also what I'm going to do, just going to go back to there and again just reselect. I don't want the that, I want the inverse now, I want that to be done. So right, first thing to do, just quickly go to layer and layer style and bevel emboss and also of course I could add maybe a color as well so I can actually just go here color overlay don't have to go with something as garish as uh, green but I'm just going to select maybe obviously the same color as before so click OK now what I can do then is just go down click OK there and then go to the layer and that's the layer with the inverted it was a selection and copy. So then go to layer and layer style and bevel emboss. And then you've got this emboss again that's the opposite of that one. So just move that down there. Now you can move it obviously anywhere. You can change the contour, also modify the actual size for the depths as well. And of course, depending on what you actually want to achieve with the design. So and again, you can modify the position for the angle of the shading. Right, once you've actually got that, there you are. You've got, so instead of just using a standard sort of layer effects bevel, you've actually now got a slightly more interesting sort of bevel design. You've actually got two bevels. Now you can actually extend it even further by actually using, I'm just going to now go down to this one, and that's why I've got the selection there. You can actually go to select, modify, and you can then go for a border. So I'm just going to go for border. Go for 20. No, maybe 10. Maybe that's a... Click OK. Now you've got that selection there as well. Now you just go back again, back down to the background. And copy again. Control C. Control V. And then you'll actually see the design there. Now what I want to do is actually have that above. So I'm just going to move that that one right to the above and then I can also add a layer layer star bevel emboss on there so yes modify the depth change that you can also of course change the angle as well and you can tweak that now you can also remove that use global light I don't always like that so you can actually just change it around and tweak that now you could, of course, finish at this point. You've got a lovely sort of embossed design with a sort of multiple level embossed style effect that you've created using all those couple of layers. Now, I'm just going to quickly go to a layer and flatten image. And then what you can do, you can use things like stylize oil paint. And I'm going to go for fairly high level there. Click OK, just to smear it slightly. You can, of course, apply it more than once. That's one thing with the oil paint. Really nice one. Filters you can apply it multiple times just to create a nice smearing thing but you still got that lovely sort of multiple leveled bevel that was you couldn't really create particularly easily with a standard single bevel now what you can do then of course go to camera root filter and I'm just going to bring up final one and you can modify change the lighting to create a very interesting sort of golden glow 
to the design. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.